Hello everybody and welcome to Play With Ivy. My name is Ivy and today we are going to be doing a flip through of my 2018 planner. This is going to be a very, very long video so if you want to go get a snack or a drink before you start watching this, highly recommend because this is going to be a long one. And if you're not interested in a very long talking video then I will also have the short version of this video linked at the end of this video or you can go check out my channel to see the short version of this video. It's just me flipping through all the spreads but if you you want to see me do the whole talking through the spread and my thought process behind everything just keep on watching so this is my 2018 planner it is a neutral vertical Erin Condren planner Erin Condren has been my go-to planner since I started planning I actually have both of my previous planners right next to me wait okay so yeah here are my two previous planners this was the very first Erin Condren planner I ever had it was from 2015 to 2016 as you can see it's it's very very thick. This was actually an 18 month planner so I had it at the beginning of sophomore year and it lasted me till basically the uh, halfway point of junior year so it lasted me a very long time. There's a lot of spreads in here and most of them are on YouTube so you can go watch those plan with me. I actually don't recommend that though because they were not that good in the beginning. I've improved a lot since then but I still have a long way to go. And then this is my 2017 planner also an Eric Condra and this one is specifically neutral at the beginning. With with this one, it was still a very colorful planner. I had to do a lot of covering up, but as you can see, the color for this month was actually green. I did a lot of pink for the spread, so a lot of covering up went into this planning time. But with this one, I could order a neutral planner, so I ordered a neutral planner so I didn't have to deal with anything messing with my color scheme. And so this is my planner from back then. Again, most of the spreads from this planner are on YouTube, so if you want to see me plan any of these spreads, just check out my Plan with Ivy playlist. But now we're going to get to talking about this beautiful planner. So again, it's a vertical Erin Condren. If you want to get $10 off your first purchase from Erin Condren, I will have a link in the down bar below just so you can like check out the planner for yourself and get a little discount on it because I highly do recommend these planners. I have used them for basically my entire planning journey. So like almost three and a half years at this point. So it's been good to me. So highly recommend. So we're going to get started with the flip through. And I just quickly want to show you what I do with the beginning pages I literally do nothing with these beginning pages like it has a calendar and then it has this part where you can like monthly plan but I don't actually use this part really I may use this more in my next planner but I really didn't have a use for it in this planner and then again there are these monthly notes pages at the beginning of each month didn't really use that as well or the monthly calendar but I am using the monthly calendar definitely this year I'm changing up my plan style a little bit but still it really didn't have much use for me last year we come to the very first planner spread so actually the very first planner spread for this year was a rewind I remember this vividly I was having like a slump with planning at this point last year so I didn't really plan too much and when it came time to like get back to the new year I said okay I'm actually going to film a plan with me so I rewind filmed this plan with me and let's see what did I do this week I was still in school but I was on winter break and this is actually where I started doing hand lettering in this side bar I remember that because if as we go throughout this planner you'll see that I actually hand layer in the sidebar from this point on really just because it was a great chance for me to practice my hand layering because I'm still working on becoming a better hand layer and I don't really use a sidebar for much I don't track many habits as much as I used to so it's just a great decorative thing I can have at the side of every spread and I can use some leftover deco there as well and also I do a lot of dots up at the top because it's just a great way to fill in white space at the top of the planner so yeah and this kit is from school Girl Prince Co. I forget the name of it. It'll probably be listed in the Play With Me itself. But yeah, I love the color scheme for this week and I think it turned out very cute. And yeah, January was a very rough time for me pl and planning. I did not plan after that point in January. Yeah, I just did not plan at all in January, really. Until I went back to school. Yeah, this was like the first week back to school. And yeah, you can see serious planning session. And because I really did have to get back into planning because I had to remember to do stuff because I was back in school and so I couldn't slack off on anything otherwise I would really come back to nip me in the butt later on so I really did have to get back into playing at this point so this kit I believe it's from Saucy Sticker Co I could be wrong but I really do love the color scheme in this kit and because I love that it was very floral and very muted I love the galaxy tones galaxy happens to be one of my favorite aesthetics so I think it turned out 
that's super super cute and a lot happened this week i had like a really really lazy weekend this week that was great and i think this was my introduction to five guys this week i never had five guys until my best friend who was also my roommate at the time brought me over to five guys and she was like ivy you gotta try this and i tried it and it was really really good and then the five guys moved from where it was it was like right next to my apartment building i was so mad about that but regardless it was probably for the better so i didn't gain too much weight and then i continued with hand layering in the sidebar and went with rewrite the stars with me because i was obsessed with the great showman soundtrack and rewrite the stars is definitely my favorite song off the soundtrack right next to million dreams and i did a little dot thing behind it so it looked like it was kind of ombre and cute and everything so yeah so that was this week and then the week before valentine's day the week of valentine's day black panther was coming out so i had to do a black panther kit for that week but the week before i went lovey-dovey even though i am a single pringle but you know what all you need is love and wi-fi that's all you need that's why i really like this kit i think this was also from saucy sticker co i believe and this was just like more self-lovey than actually like coupley love which i really really liked because i'm a single pringle i don't need no man so i'm gonna love myself and I'm gonna treat myself to things and so yeah I treated myself to a candy gram this week because we were doing candy grams for my organization that I was a part of and then I was meal prepping I was being very productive this week actually I was working on my capstone project that I needed to do in order to graduate which I did and then working on stuff because I had to work on my resume and cover letter for a class I was in and then we also had to fake apply for a job I actually didn't end up applying for the job I didn't get but I still had the resume and cover letter done so that was something I out of the way for other things I had to do in the future and yeah see I tried to do a sidebar I tried to do a sidebar this week it really wasn't happening so more of this is going to show up later on just you see and then Black Panther week yes if you have not seen Black Panther, go see it. It's awesome. I was actually Shuri for Halloween, and that was so much fun. And so me and my parents went to go see Black Panther this week. And all this Black Panther stuff you see is actually stuff I got off of Pinterest. Like, these images I did not draw myself. I wish I was that creative. In reality, I'm not. I really love this Black Panther Lion King mashup here. Definitely did not draw that myself. But I, like, took all this off, printed out sticker paper, glued it in my planner, and then... Handler this quote which I was really really proud of long live the king I think it looked very good with the aesthetic of everything it was a very strictly black which I really appreciate I every year I think I do at least one strict black which I think turned out turns out really 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 cute and this was also my best friend's birthday and she went to go see Black Panther after me and so I just fangirled with her after we both saw it and it was so Oh, good. But yeah, this was a really, really cute week. I loved all the black. And then the week after was another, like, self-love, girl-love week. This was a kit from the Glam Planner, and this was part of her subscription service, and I am still a part of that service because I love a majority of the kits that she gets. Maybe every once in a while there's a kit that I don't love, but most of the time I love every single kit I get from the Glam Planner. I even got her Glam Planner Christmas Eve box, and I really loved everything that came in it, so I love the Glam Planner very, very much and yeah this one was like more so of a girls night in and then I wrote like all my girls in the sidebar and it was very like sleepover ish and I love that feel of it and it was just so cute I love the color scheme for this week it's just so cute oh and the cupcakes for this week this cupcakes I need them in my life right now I actually have pie downstairs I told myself that I would be able to go get pie if I finished filming all three videos at once basically oh I also had bad anxiety day I don't like writing that on my planner but I think it's good to track it when I do have them but still that's sad okay moving on to March oh my god this week yes this was the Red Riding Hood kit from Whimsical Plant, and I am obsessed with this aesthetic. Like, look at these full boxes. They're all just very gorgeous. And then I basically finished this quote that was in the quote box, over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. And that's so good. And then I used this extra full box, I think. Yeah, this was still the time where I was rewinding my plan with me, so I would, like, do a few things that I knew I was doing. And then at the end of the week or at the end of the day, I would fill things in with things 
things I with things that occurred during the week like I was chosen as the elections chair this week and then this was just like some random stuff and something got canceled and then school was closed this day because we had a crazy wind that knocked over a tree on campus I was really happy about that apparently so yeah I was just using extra full boxes as well to like fill in space and you'll see eventually I abandoned this but for this point it was really working for me oh and the Oscars are, and the Oscars were also this week and this is me from the greatest showman lost and I was so mad but Coco won so I let it slide but this is me show you won honestly I feel like the Oscar songs were switched like Disney show won last year and then this and then the writers who wrote this is me who also wrote the La La Land soundtrack show on this year because last year how far a goal was made and I was super obsessed with that song it's show one for best song but and then La La Land one and oh I can't get into a whole rant about that if you want to get into a whole rant about that about that DM me on Instagram but still yeah that was this week moving on and moving on to the plan with me week so it's a planner kit about planner kit and eh? plannerception I believe this kit was from my dear stationery I believe and I love the rose gold vibe of it because I just love rose gold Rose gold is so my aesthetic right now. Like, this is my pen holder and then I have a rose gold case on my phone and I have a rose gold apple watch I got rose gold everything going on my planner for next year has a rose gold coil and a rose gold cover so rose gold is my life right now so a kit with a ton of rose gold in is totally for me and see I tried to do another sidebar I don't know why I tried to do another sidebar it really is not working I tried to I quote a little tiny quote in the corner eventually this will disappear and maybe I'll put a habit tracker there here and now but in reality it's not happening oh I also got my cap and gown this week oh mm, because I graduated in like two months from like two months from here so oh so cute yeah that was this week in my planner oh and then Star Wars may the force be with you Star Wars happens to be one of my dad's favorite movies of all time and then when I saw the musical plans had released a Star Wars kit I knew I had to use it for his birthday but the thing is that his birthday is actually the week after this but we also going to Vegas that week and have a Vegas kit that I could use so I ended up using it for this week instead but regardless it still turned out super super cute and I actually got my dad some Black Panther figures for his birthday so he opened this present here and what else happened I did not have this one class I had a good scream that day yeah I was really frustrated about something and then I lost, lost my voice from screaming that was fun and then I packed for Vegas and I got really really sick oh Ivy this was a week for you this was a week for you and then I did some elections chair stuff yeah this was a good week I love the color scheme it's very very cute moving on to Vegas week this is a glam planner subscription kit again and I didn't know if I was ever going to use this kit because I'm not just not like a going out person and Las Vegas like is like the place where you go out and do stuff you can't just really sit in your hotel room a lot even though that's what me and my parents end up doing but me and my squad me and my parents we went to Vegas for for spring break this week and yeah viva las vegas this week i actually did like a rewind thing so every single day i like put down the stickers yeah i brought stickers with me in vegas and then i rewind rewinded how, how you say that i planned and rewind every single day i actually documented it on my personal instagram so if you want to go see that it will be linked in my other instagram but yeah i just like vlog that way so i think it turned out really cute oh i went to go eat at the wicked spoon which if you watch worth it on buzzfeed they did like a buffet episode and they went to buffets around las vegas and wicked spoon was one of them and i have to say the wicked spoon lives up to the worth of tile because it was so good and I tried some really interesting things I never thought I would try before so it was really really good and what else did I do this week I wanted spades which is very mm. in my household spades is like we go hard with spades and usually I lose because I'm the baby but to that day I won I really rubbed in my parents face and they got back at me for it later on but still I won for the first time ever in like the 10 years since my parents taught me how to play I won spades oh and I would 
to go see true Cirque du Soleil shows this week and Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas. I know that it was supposed to be magical but it went beyond my wildest dreams and it was just so good to go see and like see them up a little bit closer and then like watching everything was so so cool. And this one was like really really fiery and I love. I actually downloaded both of the soundtracks for this and O. O is at the Bellagio. I didn't realize this till I left but it was so so good and they actually have like moving floors where they bring in the water for the different water scenes I had it's like very water oriented and it's just so cool to go see if you ever have a chance to go see a Cirque du Soleil show in Las Vegas go see O it's the number one show that I will recommend for you guys to see if you never see another Cirque du Soleil show go see O and so yeah that's how I spent my spring break and moving on to April oh this was a cute kid never stop looking up this is also another glam planner kit this one I ordered from her actual shop site and this was the essentials version and so I used this for Easter Eve because it was kind of like dreamy and like pastel-y I thought that would well with the Easter vibes and I used the double full the double quilt box for this week and I love this quilt box I love the little cat in the moon and it reminds me of that one nursery rhyme hey dill dill the cat in the field, the cow jump over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with a spoon. I think that was the entire nursery rhyme, the rhyme right there. I think that sums it up. And I just love the starry feel of this kit. It was so, so cute. And this little coat in this corner twinkle my little star oh I think if I ever have I know I'm going to have children but when I have a child I think this is gonna be the quote that I put in their room because I think it's just so cute like twinkle my little star oh yeah so that's how I feel about this kit it was just very cute it's just a very very cute oh and then this kit this is from exo model planets I've had this kit for maybe like two years at this point and I was just like you know what this is the week I'm going to use this kit and so it was like a very very simple kit it basically only came with headers the date covers this full box sticker and then some more deco stickers and I used all of them this week and I made it work and I think it turned out very cute regardless of how little I had to work with and this is where pens come in handy because you can make a lot of decoration and fill in a lot of space with just pens like filling in some space here I made filled in a lot of space here Lois and Clark who has ever seen Lois and Clark and has fell in love with it honestly the last season's my favorite because the first two seasons where they're just like chasing around each other is just like oh this is so annoying and then third season where that all that stuff happens that tries to prevent them from being married is just like Ugh. And so just like last season is mine for Lois and Clark. That's my favorite season. But yeah, this is so cute. Yeah, I love the color scheme for this week. I think it turned out very, very cute. And then this is an Eclectically Emily week. I for I think it was Powder Blue Boss Babe. I think that's what this week is called in reality. I think I just called it something different in my plan with me. But this is also the week that I did a pre-plan with me to show you how I pre-plan my spreads. And yeah, that's cute. Oh, I forgot my wallet this day. Oh yeah, that was really, really bad because usually on like I only had class two days during my last semester at college which felt really really good I loved only have two classes and then the rest of the week I was totally chill and then so on these days I usually get lunch at like the main cafeteria on campus and since I forgot my little wallet that day I had to go have lunch in my apartment oh I had a milkshake with a paper straw that day which felt really good because my campus just switched to using paper straws in our dairy where we, you can get milkshakes and ice cream and stuff like that so me and my friends were like super excited about that we all just went to go get milkshakes just because of this and yeah, this week turned out really cute. I think I was using it mainly this week just so I can be super productive. I think that was the goal for this week to be super productive. And I think, yeah, I had a very productive week. And this is also the week where I think I did my first video where I had something sent to me, which is really awesome as a YouTuber to have something that's sent to you by a company. So that was really fun. Moving on, this is another Eclectically Emily week. I call this kit Naturally Chic. And this is the second time I actually used this kit and it turned out super cute again. It's just nice to have kits where you can use them more than once and you'll get a totally different kit every single time. And I, with this kit, I specifically brought in more green because we had like the green flower up there. And so I let some little hints of green sneak in every once in a while. Oh, and this happened. Bob Moyer came to my campus and he's actually an animator for Pixar. And it was part of my major's presentation like they were presenting alumni from our major program and he was one of them and it was just so cool and he talked about the making of Coco and how they like built everything up 
from the ground up and that was so cool to see because I love seeing the behind the scenes of stuff and so I was really happy to go to this lecture and I also found my iPad this day and started playing Dana Nightstone again. If you guys have ever played Dana Nightstone, the game series, let me know in a comment down below because I love that series. But yeah, also I've posted a vlog this week. Oh, I did a lot this week. Go Ivy! I'm very proud of me. Ooh! this is the Marie Antoinette kit from the Glam Planner subscription. This is when I was still getting like the essentials version of the kit. I didn't do like the full version yet but ooh, this is cute. I love the color scheme for this week and the quote that I put on the sidebar. In a modern world remain a classic. That's right ladies remain a classic. And so yeah this turned out super cute. I love the uh color scheme for this week. Oh and I went to go see Infinity Wars this day. Ooh. <laughs> Who saw Infinity War? Who else saw Infinity War in theaters? I went to like a th movie theater near my campus. It was like the first time I ever went off on my own as an introvert to actually like physically go do something by myself, which rarely ever happens. I usually either go with my parents or try to convince my friends to go with me because I don't want to go alone. But this week, nobody was ever going to go with me, but I was going to go see Avengers come hell or high water. I was going to go see it. And then when I went to go see it, ooh, I was one of the only ones in the theater, first of all. And then two, that ending. That ending though oh that broke me inside and when the credits were rolling I felt like I was watching a funeral it was oh my god overall the movie was really really good and up until the last 15 minutes of the movie and that was just like what what just happened that was my feeling towards the movie I'm still re-watching it up until a certain point but still yeah that was that week moving on to May oh this was an extra week so this was subscribers pick my planner spread for this week and so I actually had two subscribers who ended up helping me come up with a theme of like a rainbow dizzy week and so I drew this full box situation by myself and I think it turned out super cute and yeah I made sure to feature some of my favorite characters so like this is Simbo from The Lion King, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, Duchess from The Aristocats. The Aristocats is one of my favorite movies of all time it is so underrated. Chip from Beauty and the Beast, Mushu from Mulan, and Mickey Mouse of course and so this was just a very very colorful week I was able to just use whatever planner stickers I wanted this week really because no color was off limits because it was rainbow I think it did the only thing I don't really like is like the bottom of this week because I don't like the polka dots everywhere at the bottom I like them at the top but not at the bottom but this quote on the sidebar life is art live in color I think that's really really cute and I really do like drawing my own full boxes every once in a while the only thing is that because I colored in by hand it didn't turn out perfectly like you can see some things went into what I drew but you know what say la vie. but yeah this was a really cute week I think I would like to do this again every maybe every once in a while do something like this but let me know if you guys want me to do something like this again Ooh, and this is another kit from the glam planet this was another subscription kit it was a book theme kit which was very nice it was very nerdy and I love this sidebar thing like just one more chapter oh look another chapter and so I used a lot of bookie stickers this week and this is like a week before graduation and I was basically done with everything. I don't think... Yeah, I didn't have any exams this week. I forgot. I For my last semester of college, which I know I'm spoiled, but for my last semester of college, I didn't have any actual tests that I had to take. I just had to do one presentation the final day of class, and then I had to write two papers. And then I was done with everything. And that felt really, really, really good. And I'd much rather write a paper than take a test, because I have test anxiety, and I just don't like taking tests. I would much rather write a paper, like, I will write you a 15 page paper before I will take a test for you. That is how serious I am about papers over tests. And also I think it's just better for people who have test anxiety because it just makes it, because you're actually showing what you know rather than doing it in like a time crunch. I think that's better for me at least. And I also interviewed for a job this day and I got the job. So yay. So yeah, this was the last week before graduation. Yes, I graduated this week. This is a Scrub Prince Co. kit and it just perfectly went with this week. Oh my god, I can't believe I finally graduated from college. It was a long time coming. But yeah, I did it. And so I love the color scheme for this week. I love the pink, blacks, and gold together. I think it worked together very well. And then this part of the week I was at home. And then I was prepping for graduation this day basically. And then we had like a senior thing on at my school. And what else happened? Oh, and these two were my graduation days. Yes, I had two graduation days because I went to the University of Maryland College Park and if you haven't heard of the school, it's like a really, really large school in Maryland and so it has almost how many? 
we had like 6,000 people in our graduating class and so basically the school does a graduation and then the entire university does graduation and so the first this day was my tiny was my school graduation and I was actually in a very exclusive program where you make your own major and so there were only 22 of us in our graduating class and so it was a very small intimate graduation we each had like mentors who we came up to speak about us and so my mentor came up and speak about spoke about me I just had to stand there and like accept the compliments which felt really really weird because all of us we were just like ooh when they told us that our mentors were going to speeches about us and we just had to sit there and accept all the compliments because we were all like very like closed off people to an extent and so when we don't do compliments very well we just like go with the flow but then everybody started complimenting us and we are a very talented group of individuals I will admit that but just like we're bad at taking compliments and so that was that graduation my cap fell off of my graduation which was really fun it actually fell off at both graduations and at this one it was on the big screen but you know what I still look cute so whatever so yeah small graduation big graduation and I had red lobster that's what I wanted to eat I wanted to eat red lobster for my after graduation meal and I was very happy so yeah I graduated and then this was my week off before I started working and then me and my parents I think we took a trip yeah this was a family reunion we had a family reunion this week and so we were going to drive down to Virginia where my parents are from and then we had some plumbing problems so we didn't get to Virginia till like I don't even know like one o'clock in the morning we got there real 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 late and then we went to go visit my aunt and then we had dinner and then we had like the family cookout and then we had like a dinner this day yeah that's pretty much it and then we had to come home really early in order to make sure that I was able to get home in time so I could go to work the next day but yeah it's a good week this is a kid from the glam planner and I really do love the color scheme for this week and the quote that I put in the sidebar living young and wild and free they could turn out very cute but yeah moving on to my first week of work of okay and this is also the week where I fell off of the filling in bandwagon so I have been doing really good with like filling in my memories up until this point but like this week is just a week where I just like fell off the bandwagon so this is basically why I had filled in for the play with me and I didn't fill anything else in so I still have a whole bunch of leftover stickers in this week and yeah it was pretty pretty bad and you'll see for the next few weeks I don't fill in anything but this was a kit from Coffee Monsters Co and I specifically bought this kit for when I started my first week of work and so I did start work this week at orientation these three days and then they put us on the floor for these two days so it was a good time but still yeah I didn't do much and yeah I went to go pack up my apartment this day because I still have my on-campus apartment that I still like had my lease to so still packing up my apartment at this point because I just had a lot of stuff in my apartment so but yeah this week turned out really really cute and I like and then behold another kit that I did not finish I believe this kit was from Sticky Essentials and this was also another work week for me and so I went to work these days and then the other few days I got my learner's permit again because I still don't have my driver's license I'm working on it, people I'm working on it and I played around with my art journal I tried to do a sidebar thing that didn't end up happening and I did not fill in the rest of the week so yeah it was a very cute spread too like I love constellation I love galaxy things so it was so sad that I did not finish filling it this week but I was just like I was basically done with memory playing at this point so you'll see later on I just fill everything out for the beginning now so that's this week and then next week again another non-filled out spread this one's from the glam planner it was like a brunch in Italy sort of feel and let's do brunch I I haven't even I've, I never even been to brunch really so I don't even know what goes into brunch but yeah oh and this week is when Incredibles 2 came out so me and my parents went to go see it and I was so good like who else loved Incredibles I didn't really understand the reason why they were hiding their powers until I watched the Incredibles when I got older but now I understand and now Incredibles 2 makes more sense to me than it would have back then so it's so cute I love the pastels for this week also so it was a very cute week I'm so sad I didn't finish filling it out oh this week that I am so mad I did not fill out this week I am so mad because it's so cute and I didn't finish it it's so so cute this was a kit from whimsical plants it's mermaid summary and it's holographic look at this hollow just look at the hollow and I didn't finish it I brought mermaid stickers to go specifically with this kit and then I did not finish this week look at this Look at- Oh my god. I was so mad at myself that I did not finish this week. This is the week if any to finish too. Like if I didn't finish any week. I should have finished this week. But I didn't. And so. Yeah. 
if you guys want to like see me like fancy spreads tell me a comment down below because that may actually force me to like add something to it maybe even just draw something or just add some extra stickers not even like fully commit to like trying to remember these plans because it's not gonna happen but still like do something to finish this off moving on to july this was a no etsy kit week where i used black and gold and i love the black and gold vibes for the week it turned out so cute and it forces me to use a lot of no etsy stickers like you can see a lot of these like dividers and things are no Etsy and so it forces me to use those things so I don't have them just accumulating in my drawer all the time which is really good that's why I made a goal for this year that every single month I have to do a no Etsy kit spread just so I get rid of those stickers and I started doing that like at the end of this year so it really did help out like thin my collection just a little bit and I did fill out this week a little bit more I think this was the point where I started to realize that memory playing wasn't going to work for me and I think I fully moved down my apartment this day no I felt I cleaned up more of my apartment I didn't move out fully yet until like the beginning uh actually no I did fully move out at this point because my lease was going to be up july i think yeah my lease was up in july so i had to finish everything that's why i say buy bubbles that's why i said buy bubbles because there's a bubble tea place next to my old apartment and it was literally a few steps away and so i can just like go there and come back with bubble tea whenever i want it and i don't have that luxury anymore it makes me so sad because i really really miss bubble tea now and so yeah bubbles by my college apartment and hello sweets this was another no etsy kit week and honestly this one didn't turn out too bad the full boxes eh, they could have turned out cuter i think the only full boxes i really do like for this week i like this one actually i think i only really love that one this one it could turn out cuter out if i think if i like fix these swirls it turn, would it turn out way cuter but yeah yeah this was the week that i think the last week that oh no that i'll i'll show you that but i do love the color scheme for this week and i really do love the sweets theme for this week i love using my sweets theme washi that i never used because it doesn't go with anything and my cupcake washi i think this all is so so cute together and i'm so sad i didn't fill this out and then you are what you eat which is sweet oh I, I how did I come up with that that's so cute that is so so cute so I love doing the quotes in the sidebar are definitely something I'm going to move on till next year because I think it is a cute thing to have in your planner and it's just like another motivational thing you can add to your planner and then the next week I just didn't plan because I realized that the memory playing system was not for me anymore and so I just went back to filling everything in fully for during my plan of me so this is the first week that I filled everything in beforehand and so this was a kit from Whimsical Plans. It was a very circus theme kit, which also reminded me of The Greatest Showman. So I had to use a Greatest Showman quote in the sidebar. And I think it matched perfectly with the feel of this kit because I feel like it was very dreamy. And so a million dreams are keeping me awake. I think it was a perfect dream spread for that. And I love this week. It was so cute. And did I do anything interesting this week? Oh, it rained like heck that week. There was so much rain that week. Oh, and I read Children of Blood and Bone. Have you guys read Children of Blood and Bone before? Because it is so, so good. It was recommended. I, like, watch a video by, what's her name? Clockwork Reader here on YouTube. And then she said, it if you like Avatar The Last Airbender, you'll love Children of Blood and Bone. And I have to agree. If you love the La Avatar The Last Airbender, you'll love Children of Blood and Bone. It's, like, such a similar feel to it. And if you love Zutara, I feel like you'll like this book. Just saying. That's all I'll give. That's all I'll hint about this. But, yeah. Yeah, if you love Zutara, you may love this book. And then another No Etsy Kit Week. This one was also a summery, sweet vibe. It was mostly popsicle themed. And so I had some very colorful ones. And I used a lot of popsicle and ice cream ones. And I think this turned out really, really cute. See, this is why I like when these color schemes come together. I just wanted to make sure that's more controlled and I don't use too many colors. I think that's some of the problems where I don't color coordinate well enough. Because I love aesthetic. And if I my aesthetic doesn't turn out the way I want it to, then I don't like it that much. And so this week I like how it turned out. I love that it was majority purple and then I had like hints of color every here and there. I think that's why it worked well be to me. I think that's why. And then moving on to August and this is the first month where I really had a theme to my planner kits. And so like this month I was just using my favorite kits. So like the kits that I've been hoarding for a very long time or that I really really love the aesthetic of. I was using during the month of August because I love my birthday month so therefore I will love my planner kits that I use during the month. And so this was a subscription kit from I got from the that I got from the glam planner 
literally like a week before I put it in my planner but I think it turned out very very cute I love the aesthetic of it the light pinks and the light blue and the gray together I think it turned out very well it gave me like marble vibes and I love that I was able to use stickers I don't usually use like these once more with love workout stickers because they're blue and pink I don't use them in a lot of spreads but since this week was blue and pink I was able to use them and like this blue and pink washer again it's blue and pink so I won't use it in a lot of spreads except this one is blue and pink so I can use it so I love when things like that work out I think it's very very nice it's aesthetically pleasing to me I feel like this is a part of the year where I got obsessed with aesthetics and so it just kept going till the end of the year which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing but but it did make me a little bit more controlling when it came to my plan with me. Oh, and this is another glam planner week. This one I had hoarded for like two years. Yeah, this was the lighthouse kit that she did. I was going to reserve for the week that I redid my room. But you know, I was just like, I've been hoarding this kit for long enough. I think it's time that I actually use it. So I did. And I brought in some hints of red because of the red sunglasses and red nail polish that she had on. So I used that with a red pen. And I think that turned out really cute. And then I love the beachiest aesthetic of this because also beachy is one of my aesthetics if you didn't know so I really really like that and I also made my own full box with some leftover deco stickers and I think that turned out really cute and I just love the light and bright theme of this kit and it made me super happy to look at this and that's the main thing I wanted to do for this month I want to be happy when I looked at my spreads throughout this month which again I feel during this week this was another glam planner week I used a lot of glam planner this month but that's because I just love the way her kits look and I think they all are so cute and this is another galaxy kit and galaxy is one of my aesthetics so I just had to use it and I tried to do some unique hand lettering on the sidebar I didn't turn out the way I wanted it to but you know what that's fine and I love the pinks and purples together I think it turned out super cute and did anything interesting happen this week no th during this part of the month as well I was just super into working so it was just not a lot of time for anything else except work oh wait no I remember is this yes this is the one where I worked eight days in a row because I wanted to have my birthday weekend off so I had to work eight days in a row and so this is where that started like I worked so many days in a row but it was worth it to have my birthday off because my birthday was a Saturday and I usually work Saturdays but I didn't to work that Saturday so that was nice but you'll see during this week my birthday week from Moonsicle Plans I don't know about you but I feel like 22 and I love the muted tones another one of my aesthetics and it was very pink and rose goldy and that made me so happy to use this for my birthday day week and I just used a lot of pink and I love pink and it was so cute and so yeah I worked my last three days and then I just started having a lot of fun with it and I watched the land before time and oh these were the three days that I worked and then I got Starbucks treat this day and I was tried to start reading Grace and Fury I haven't finished Grace and Fury yet but that's going to be one of my goals for this year and then my 22nd birthday was on this Saturday and it was so much fun I just watched Disney movies and ate cake the entire day I was very chillax that day I didn't do much and that's basically all I want to do on my birthday do nothing and eat cake so I accomplished my goal I accomplished my goal and it was all worth all the work that I had to do that week and next ooh, so cute this is a kit from another kit from whimsical plans this was like a fairy tale theme kit and I love fairy tales I love the fairy tale vibe of this kit and also it was another muted kit which I really loved and I love the books like look at this clip art it's just so gorgeous I think this comes from bloomsical on Etsy and it turned out so so cute I think this was another week where I kind of had a theme going but I didn't know it it was more like booky and like work oriented oriented this month I did even know that until I like flipped through everything I was just like I have a theme I actually do have a theme for this month and look at that quote watch yourself a fairy tale ending I think this is some of the best cursive that I've done on like the sidebar for a long time so very proud of that and this is also why I started bringing in more washi because I have a large washi collection a very sizable washi collection I never used any of the washi and so I made like a point starting here to like bring in some extra washi to go with each kit just so I didn't have my washi lying around for a long time I actually used it because I shouldn't wait for like a no Etsy kit to use my washi. I want to use it year round. And anything interesting happening? Nope, not really. Ooh, moving on. So yeah, more bookie stuff. This was the back to school week because school was back in session. And I love the sidebar quote, back to school suck because I was not going back to school. All my friends uh, who are still in college, they went back to school, but I did not. And that felt so good because like for the first time in 22 years, basically, I did not have to go to school. So I felt very good to write that in my planner that I was 
it's not in school and the color scheme for this week just gives me life I mean look at this like hot pink and this lime green together they are so cute together along with this navy blue and I was so happy when I was picking out pens for this week because it was also very rose gold and this is also a rose gold foiled week I think actually this week was the first week that I actually have foiling on my kits and it turned out super cute and then I just became obsessed with whimsical plants foil from that point out and I had this piece of this washi that went perfectly with this kit and I don't get to use this washi in a lot because it's a very specific color scheme and it does go with any color schemes really except this one this one it went with so I was so happy to use it and this was just another work oriented week I tried to get productive this week and I think I did pretty good overall could have done better but this is a very cute week overall and again another work oriented week I used another naturally chic kit from from a collectively Emily again and this was the last time I was going to use this kit because these were the last of the full boxes and so for the last time I used it I think it turned out super super cute I went more gray tones this week and I had just bought this like washi from Michaels and I think it went really well with the aesthetic and then I brought in these like girl stickers from Grin and Barrett which I think brought the color up a little bit more. You don't realize these things until you start taking art classes about design and I think taking design classes really did like help me improve my planner aesthetic because I think I was thinking about things more and it showed. It really did show until you get to this week. And then you wonder, what the heck did you do? So this was the dollar store challenge. I tried to make a planner spread using just dollar store stickers. And you know what? For what it's worth, it turned out pretty good for having like nothing to work with. I had crayon and Lisa Frank stickers and these letter stickers to work with. And that was basically it. That was basically it. But I made My Little Pony theme because I love My Little Pony. And so I wrote My Little Pony at the bottom. I have all three all six main characters and I tried to draw their cutie marks in the full box area didn't turn out super cute that's because crayons are hard to work with if I had used my color pencils I think it would turn out differently but crayons are a little bit hard to work with but I tried my best I really did try my best but for what's worth I think it turned out cute it was frustrating to like draw everything though and put down these little tiny stickers that was really really frustrating I did not skip out on pens I did limit myself to like four or five pens that week just so I didn't cheat too much but it did force me to be a little bit more creative and think more out of the box which I appreciate doing every once in a while just so I don't get too comfortable but yeah I definitely missed my full boxes and washi this week which is why I went ham the next week with this final time using the powder blue boss babe kit from eclectically Emily I used my washi to my full advantage I used my full boxes to my full advantage I made this little cute aesthetic up top with the pen again and I think it turned out super super cute I just love these blue spreads because I think it turns out so cute every single time you do it like when you do a kit with basically one color nothing can go wrong in my opinion so I think it turned out super super tell me what you think in the comment down below would you do a kit with one color cuz I'm telling you if you do I think it'll turn out well for you so next we are in October and October was my magical month so I did kits that all dealt with magic which I think it turned out super cute this kit is from whimsical plans and it was like a planner magic kit so it was very planner girl oriented with like the planner washi and the planner setup but it was also like sailor moon kind of with like the sailor moon girl and then like salem i think his name is don't come for me but i have to see sailor moon but yeah with like the cats and i think it was just very magical in general and i went on like a potter binge during this month because it was a very magical time so I started reading Harry Potter. I have not read the entire Harry Potter series before, don't come for me, but I am working on it. So for the first time I'm reading the Harry Potter series and I finished Social Stone. I need to, I already have Chamber of Secrets so I'm moving on to that next. But again, I think this week turned out very well. I love it when the pinks pinks and blues come together. I think you can't go wrong when you put pink and blue together. Oh, and I also use this Sailor Scout stickers for my work stickers for that week and it turned out so cute because they matched the aesthetic perfectly. I love that. And then we use another Whimsical Plants kit for this week and I just bought the full boxes from Whimsical Plants. I didn't buy anything else. I just used a whole bunch of leftover stickers. So like these are from the Sticky Essentials kit from way back when. And I used that girl sticker and then I used some of those leftover stickers from that kit 
kit that I didn't put in that kit week. I used that for this week and I think it turned out so cute. So I think that's a great way for you guys to like save money if you just buy like the full boxes from a shop and then you just use leftover stickers from like all the other kits you may have used or just buy like some random functional stickers. I think it's a great way for you guys to save money just because you get to do a different stick but you don't have to buy that much extra stuff. And I really relied a lot on my washi this week and I think it turned out so cute. I love this like eye eyelash washi lip washi at the bottom because I think it fit in with the aesthetic of the full boxes very well. So yeah, this week turned out very cute. Another work oriented week. Nothing super special happened, but yeah. And then this week, ooh, this aesthetically, I love the color scheme for this week. I love everything for this week. The only thing I'm mad about is the fact that I put the full boxes at the bottom. I think I just want to be different this week and try to do something a little bit different by putting the full boxes at the bottom, but I'm so mad at it now because it just like all my other kits, they're at the top and then this is the only week during the entire plan where they're at the bottom. So that's the only thing I don't like about this week. But other than that, I think it turned out very cute. And then I went to homecoming with my parents and so they, we went to my dad's homecoming and they tried to show me like what they've been doing for the past four years while I've been in college. I'm not a huge fan of large social gatherings. So it wasn't my cup of tea, but I was happy I got to experience it with them. And I read more Harry Potter on the way down and I went book shopping at the Barnes & Noble that they have down there and I bought way too many books and I'm not sorry about it whatsoever because I love books and stationery. It's great. It's really, really great. And then, oh yeah, so this is another Glam Planner kit. This one was Disney villain theme, specifically Disney villain S theme. And so we had like Ursula, the Evil Queen, Corella Deville, and Maleficent, which I realized when I was doing this plan with me, they're all mothers of villains in Descendants, the Disney Channel movie. And so that's why I went the Descendants quote at the bottom because I was just like, it makes sense because they're all moms of the kids in the movie. So it was very, very cute. And I loved using the bright reds and purples together during this week. I think it turned out super cute as well. And I love the clip art for this week. That's why I say subscribe to the Glam Planners sticker subscription because she really doesn't disappoint when she puts out these sticker kits and they're not going to be anywhere else. So I highly do recommend subscribing to her subscription. And then the last magical kit that I did was this Wicked kit from Whimsical Plants. And I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite spreads that I did this year just because I love the aesthetic of it. I love the magic grungy feel of it and the color scheme for this week was just so cute and I used this star washi to like bring things in together and it was so so cute. I was so happy with this spread and I love the foil that was also a part of this week. It was very very cute as well. So Whimsical Plants and Glam Planner are like my top two shops that I would shop at. So, highly recommend. Oh, and then this is the day that I dressed up as Shuri for my Halloween day. And then I went to go early vote this day. And it felt so good. Which is really good because I heard that the, the polling places were like really backed up on election day. So I'm happy I went to go early vote with my mom. Made the day very fun. And then we move on to fall kits, and fall was so cute. This is another Whimsical Plants kit. Can you tell that I like Whimsical Plants? I really like Whimsical Plants. And I love the fall aesthetic and the foil for this week. Fall is in the air was my sidebar quote, which was very, very true. And that I saw in Krebel's 2 weekend at home after me and my parents bought it. And yeah, there's not much to say about this week. I just love the aesthetic of this week mostly, so that made me really, really happy. And then here we go. This is where I really did start doing no Etsy kit spreads every single month and so this one is using some stickers that I got in a happy planner sticker book and I really do love this these two were like they I didn't have any other full boxes so I just made full boxes with the girls and I think these two turned out really really cute I love adding the swirls around it because it felt like it brought them in more and I love this pumpkin spice quote on the sidebar and just the color scheme for this week I think it turned out really really cute and yeah it was just a very cute week to plan and I got to use some colors I don't normally use and then we move on to this gorgeous gorgeous whimsical plants kit blessed I love the muted tone for this month it's just so so cute I got to use this washi here and that is so so cute I wish I could use it more but there are just like some planner kits where you just can't use some things because they just don't match and that makes me so sad but oh and this is where I actually got into like a cleaning mode like this is where I actually started cleaning because I'm a very very messy person I made 
I know it may look like I'm not messy on it, uh, my Instagram and stuff like that, but in reality, I'm a very, very messy person. Like, behind me, my playroom is a complete and utter junk pile behind me, and so this is where I, like, started cleaning my bedroom, and I really got into it, which was very good. I, like, made a whole bunch of progress during this time, and so now my bedroom is very pristine, but the rest of my rooms are just still, like, a hot mess, so I still need to get on that. But still, this is where the journey started to be a cleaner, cleaner person, which is what I'm determined to be this next year. And then this is my final fall kit. Again, this was just no Etsy kit, so I used a lot of leftover stickers, a lot of fall leftover stickers, and then I took a whole bunch of decorative stickers from my Michael's Happy Planner sticker books. And then I made this whole full box scene on it, which I think turned out pretty cute. I wish I was able to use more of the bigger stickers, but they wouldn't fit here and fit with all the plans that I still had to write down, but I still think it turned out very, very cute. Oh, and this was the end of NaNoWriMo, and I actually won NaNoWriMo again this year, which felt so good. If you're interested in seeing my NaNoWriMo vlogs, I have a whole playlist filled with my NaNoWriMo vlogs for this year, so definitely go check that out if you love writing videos and it's a very satisfying week this week and then we're moving into the final month of December where I started doing Christmas kits and I basically did like a different Christmas interior design style every single month and I really strive to make my kits look different every single week and so I feel like I really accomplished that this month so I did this traditional Christmas kit from Whimsical Plants which I think turned out so cute I love the feel of it I love this gingerbread house it made me really want to do a gingerbread house nobody else in my house wanted to so I did not do one which makes me so sad but this full box did so get me into the Christmas Carol I watched the three different Christmas Carol movies basically during this time like the uh Charles Dickens like biopic about it and then like a Disney Christmas Carol and then a regular Christmas Carol so I roasted a lot of Christmassy stuff this month and it felt super good there are a lot of good Christmas movies out there and there are some that are very underrated and then I also watched a Christmas Prince 2 I think that was also out this week so I watched a lot of Christmas things. And then this one was a more of a mid-century modern Christmas with the pinks and the unconventional Christmas colors but I think it turned out so cute and this was also another no Etsy kid week and so I just used a whole bunch of leftover full boxes that were like red and green and then I added my other leftover Christmas stickers on top of them because I wanted to finish some of these uh, sticker sets like these were the last three square stickers that I had from like peanut butter taco and then this one was also another peanut butter taco one and so I was just able to finish a lot of things this week and I was able to use this Christmas washi that I got from Michaels and I don't usually get like holiday themed washi because like you can only use it at basically one time of the year but I could not pass these two up so I ended up getting them I have no regrets right now and I also use a lot of these it's planning time stickers from this peppermint mocha kit that I did a while back and it was great to get all of them out and it was just a, such a cute week to do and I tried to do a sidebar again like these habit trackers and I think this is something I can keep up with the year for the year but like full on sidebars they're no longer a thing it's just gonna be quotes from now on but yeah this week was really really cute and I got to do another a lot of Christmassy stuff again this week so basically like my Christmas kits put me in like a very Christmassy mood this month which I really appreciate because I needed it because I worked the day after Christmas so it was really hard to be in super Christmassy mode throughout a lot of the month but these Christmas kits really got me in the mood and then this Christmas kit was very glam theme this one was from Scribble Pints Co and this was totally the inspo for my room decor that I did. I actually ended up doing a Nutcracker theme room, which I call my Nutcracker Suite, and because I'm a ballerina, and so I loved doing that for this week. And I just love the color scheme for this week. It's very muted again, and I love this Nutcracker. And then just the pink glam vibes make me so happy to look at. In that I did more Christmasy stuff this week. I decorated my room. I watched Miracle on 34th Street from my family, and it was also my mom's birthday this week. Happy birthday, mommy! And I gave her some. Christmas PJs and some ugly Christmas socks to decorate which he really liked so that was so cute and so I was just in a very Christmassy mood I started wearing my ugly Christmas sweaters during this week I have like three now and it's just like ugly Christmas sweaters give me life at the end of the day and so I really did love this week this was one of my favorites and then again another modern Christmas kit so I did like traditional mid-century glam and modern 
Christmas kits this year and this one was so cute I love the vibe of this I think I actually am a very modern person I love the modern Christmas feel of this kit and so next year maybe I'll do like a more modern Christmas vibe when it comes to plant decorate my room and I'm just obsessed with how this washi looks in this week like this was just very modern I felt like it went very well with the aesthetic of this kit and so I think that turned out very well and this was Christmas week and so I went to a Christmas party at my uncle's place and I played with my baby cousins and me and my parents all wore ugly Christmas sweaters. I actually got my dad like a sweatshirt that has like an ugly Christmas facade on the front of it and it says accountant because he's an accountant and he actually wears that sweater a lot now which makes me so happy because it's very hard to buy things for my dad and so it was a lot of fun. Oh I was also sick this day and that sucked. I would just like I literally did nothing because I had the energy to do nothing and that's where these nope stickers come in very very handy because when you just want to like mark a mood for the day this is a sticker that you want to use and so yeah this is also a very cute week and this is where we go to the very last kit for 2018 this was a new year's eve inspired black and gold kit this is also no etsy again because i want to end the year off with not using another kit just because i'm going to be redoing this kit in my other plan just because this this is going to be the first week in my next plan as well. So I just did no Etsy kit this week. I used a lot of leftover Michael stickers, which felt really good to do because I want to get rid of them as many of them as possible. And again, this is just like a nope week. So I'm doing a lot of productive stuff. I did a lot of productive stuff this week, but it's a new year, but I'm trying to like be more productive this year. This is my word for this year, productive. I just want to be a more productive person, a more productive YouTuber, and be more productive when it comes to things that I want to achieve and so like that's my mode for this year so that's why I did a lot of motivational quotes throughout this month throughout this week and I think it, it turned out very very cute and this was a great way to end off this planner and so that is my entire 2018 planner if you guys like this video give it a huge thumbs up my mouth is so dry from talking because I'm not used to talking for this long but if you guys want to see more talking videos like this tell me a comment down below or give this video a thumbs up because I would totally be willing to film more of these videos for you guys if you want to see more of them and it's time to say goodbye to this planner and hello to a new one so I cannot wait to film the first plan with me for this week tell me a comment down below if you're excited to see some new plan with me this week and I think I'm going to be changing the editing style of some of them but that is to be determined but get excited for that and if you want to see all the plan with me's for the spreads that you saw in this previous planner don't forget to check out my channel because every single spread that you saw in that planner has a plan with me to go with it so if you're interested in binge watching a whole bunch of my videos just click my plan with ivy playlist and i will have that linked at the end of this video so you can go check that out because there's a lot of plan with me's for you guys to binge there are some very very old ones in there that i think you can just skip i may just put like a 2018 one actually i may just do that i'll put my plan with ivy 2018 playlist at the very end of this video so you can binge watch all my 2018 plan with me's because there are a lot of fun ones in there and the next time i see you i will be planning in this new planner and so that's going to be it for this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so you get notified every single time I post a video and see if it should become part of the Ivy League we have a lot of fun here and if you're interested in seeing more content in this upcoming year you definitely want to subscribe to this channel so until next time this is my Ivy thank you for watching and hopefully I see you in my next video bye I'm okay.